Lifeline Community Services, we've got LifeSpring Program Manager, Lachey Woods, and Director of Youth Development, Alberta Saavedra. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Thank so you. happy to have you both here to talk about Lifeline. We're happy yeah. to be here. Yes. So um, let's start off by you telling us a little bit about Lifeline so that those that are watching really understand what we're, what we're talking about. Um, yeah, so Lifeline is a uh, community service agency. Yeah. Uh, we help uh, build self-reliance among youth, individuals, and families in all of North San Diego County. Okay, yeah. And you have a number of different programs that you do in that work. Can you tell me about the programs that you're really connected with that you want to share, okay. Light Spring? So I'm with the Drop-In Center or the House, yeah. and there we are part of the um, housing and self-sufficiency. Okay. So there we help youth. They can come into our Drop-In Center and they can get food, they can get wraparound services, they can get help with jobs and finding mm -hmm. housing or just a place to come in and feel like they're welcome and um, where they can get help. Wow, that's a great service that mm -hmm. you provide. And, and you're seeing a real increase in the need for behavioral health Yes. treatment and support, right? What is, what is that looking like? Tell us about that. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more youth dealing with mental health. And yeah. so our VIVA program is a school-based mental health program where okay. we're providing mental health services in the schools yeah. so that youth have more accessible access to the services or in school. They don't have to travel to a location. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're really hoping to assist them while um, they're at school so they have those services. Yeah, so Lifeline has really been working to expand yes. what they're offering in the community, right? Yeah, tell us a little bit more about that. For me with the drop-in center, yeah. we've actually had clients come in that have severe mental health issues, yeah. Yeah. and that has highlighted as far yeah. as the things that they go through and being on the mm -hmm. streets and not having housing. Mm -hmm. So imagine that um, you're having issues, you don't have a place to stay, you don't have food to eat, mm -hmm. and it's hard enough on a day-to-day -day basis, but imagine if you're also hearing voices or you're having issues with paranoia and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Um, coming into our drop-in yeah. center, we're able to help them to get um, connected to other services. Mm -hmm. And actually there are housing resource options mm -hmm. um, for people who suffer with mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. And so in those programs, they can get connected to housing and they would help them get connected with medication and okay. make sure they're taking medications yeah. if they want that. So yeah. um, where most people would think they can't get housing, they can and they can be self-sufficient, but mm -hmm. we come along them and we help support them so that they are, wow. they're able to be self-sufficient. And you helped 25,000 people in the last year with services similar to that? Yes, we've assisted 25,000 youth and families over this last year in uh, San Diego County. Yeah. Um, we have expanded, so we're not just North County anymore. We all okay. provide services uh, throughout the full San Diego County region, wow. assisting youth and families with not only mental health, but we know that when a family does not have their basic needs met, that that adds a lot more stress, a lot more um, financial burden. And so we're able to assist not only with the mental health piece, but we're also able to really help with those basic needs to help those families feel like they're getting that full wraparound support. Yeah, yeah. And so if people want to learn more about Lifeline Community mm -hmm. Services, because obviously you offer a broad range of yes. programs and services and support, where would you like them to go and look for that? They can go to our website, which is okay. lifelinecs.org. Yeah, okay. um, and it has all of our information, all of our programs, ways to contact us. Yeah. Um, and that's a really good place to start. Anything else that you want folks to know about Lifeline? Just that we are very open to yeah. helping families of all you know areas of the, in their journey, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's mental health, whether it's basic needs, whether it's you know they need um, help with Medi-Cal or, or okay. finding out what is out there in the community. We're really able to connect them and get them those services as well. Yeah, so you really focus in on the specific needs mm -hmm. of the family and, um, and the student or the, the teen and really focus on that. 
That's yeah. amazing work that you all do. Yeah. Thank you. And I, I want people to know that we're a loving, caring community okay. and we meet people where they are yeah. and they don't have to be afraid. They know that they can come to us and they'll be welcome wow. and they'll get the help that they need. Wow, that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for all the work you do and everyone at, at Lifeline Community Services. Thank you. We'll be right back with our next guest.